Hi everyone and welcome to the very first part of the dating games. Now I know I said I'd be starting a Hunger Games challenge. Um, this I thought would be a little twist on the version. Um, I have only used a few sims that you guys have created but maybe in more series to come we'll use more and more sims that you've created. I thought for the first one though I created, I think, um, oh well, well, we'll get to it anyway because I forget, I forget. So this is the house that we're going to use for this challenge. Um, I got it on the Sims resource, if I can find it again, I will leave a link down below so you can see it. What is that? Huh, it's a little light, okay, okay, okay. Um, right, so, um, basically I'll show you the house first. So you would come in, it's all like fenced here. I don't know if that should be the front, but I've made this the front, so whatever. Um, there's like these cars here and stuff, and a little pond in this circle bit, which I think is really cool. Really cool. And so pretty. Um, so we'll do the first floor first. So let's do that. First floor. Um, we'll start off with the guy's room. So this will be his room. Obviously, all the girls are be going to be competing um, to go on dates and things with him. Um, so this is his room. He's got like a little bookcase thing there and a bathroom. Um, a random tree. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then we've obviously got the hallway um, with this thing in it, which is quite cute. Uh, then we've got the girls room over here where they'll all sleep um so this is typically going to be their bathroom but i suppose they could just use yeah whatever <laughs> um and then their room is just like this and we've got the seven beds and a couch um obviously we come on into the balcony which also wraps around and you could get into um his room from the balcony as well which is really cool I really like that now if we go down another floor we've got the main seating area which has like the big TV stuff like that um, we've got obviously a hallway here then the little study area over here um, just another little random sitting bit uh, a kitchen area which I thought was really cool like they've taken these bits away and put plants in the bottom I thought that was awesome. Awesome! Um, and then this picture here, just just the kitchen. It's not the best over anything, but we don't need that. We don't need that. Um, then you would <clears throat> come along here and you've got the little um, seating area for eating food. And then this little bit out here is pretty cool as well because they've got like all these snowboard things on the walls, which Oh my gosh, I'm losing my voice, which I really like. I thought those were really good. Um, and then we've got the outside bit where they're all kind of sitting. I'll introduce you to them in a second. And we've got a pool and a, a hot tub, um, a barbecue stove, or whatever you call them. <laughs> And another little seating area here. So I love the house. I think it's really, really nice. Quite simple. Um, doesn't have that much, but we will we will get stuff for the challenges. So let's go ahead and get started. I think we'll start with him uh, over here. So this is what he looks like. I wasn't trying to make him the best looking sim ever, um, but I think he turned out not too bad. Not too bad. So we'll start with him. His name is Shane McCord. And that's what he looks like. His traits, and he's an attractive company. So his traits are brave, flirty, irresistible, charismatic, and friendly. And then we'll move on to the next person. Now this girl here, um, Colleen, is actually a twin. And her twin's also in here. So we have Colleen. Um, where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Here she is. So her traits are good sense of humour, rebellious, socially awkward, technophobe, and a party animal. We then have a sim that one of you guys created, and the, her name is Julianne. 
uh, Julianne Sweets. Um, so she is adventurous, natural cook, family oriented, handy and ambitious. Um, then we have Abby. Now, Abby is no sense of humour, photographer's eye, family oriented, party animal and hopeless romantic. Now, some of them don't have the best traits just because I thought it'd be more fun, make the house a bit more dramatic and things if they kind of clash with each other. So, yeah, that's her. Next, we have Dorothy. She is flirty, adventurous. I don't know if you can see her very good, but whatever. Flirty, adventurous, hopeless romantic, schmoozer and a dog person. And then we have the other twin here, so she's one of the twins. They look exactly alike, the only difference is like hair, makeup and stuff. Um, so she is brave, flirty, great kisser, disciplined and a natural cook. We then have Rosetta, which is another um, sim that one of you guys created. So she is brave, disciplined, genius, family oriented and friendly. Now, we have Karen, which a lot of you seemed to like from the trailer, um, but she is a couch potato, vegetarian, evil, natural born performer and Ziva. I kind of thought I would like her to look really sweet in things, but actually be evil. I thought that would be really fun. Oh, and she's a witch. I don't, I think I accidentally made her a witch, I don't know, <laughs> but she's only like supernatural in here, but whatever. Hopefully she won't cause too much drama and, you know, make poison apples for people to eat or whatever. So that's all the sims. I'm just going to say a bit about the challenge or what we're going to do now. Um, basically, we're not going to play as any of the girls. We're only going to play as Shane. And um, if they need something, they're going to have to do it themselves. Um, the only time we will play as the M is if, um, obviously I'm trying to get them to do a challenge, I'll have to click on them, things like that. I can click on them, see what they're needing, but I can't actually help them by telling them what to do. Um, I have kind of just made all this up in my head, so I hope it goes well. Uh, yeah, so we will be able to click on them when we're on a date with uh, Shane, but other than that... And we will be able to control them when they're on a date with Shane. So only when they're on a date with Shane I can control them. Any other time I can't unless it's just clicking on them to see what they what they um need and stuff, but I can't actually help them with that. Um another little thing that I was gonna do is obviously they were gonna have competitions and things. If they um basically <laughs> They're going to be trying to build up a relationship. He has a little bit of relationship with them already. But um, it's going to be up to them to come and talk to him. I can't choose one of these girls, say Colleen for example, and be like, oh, romantic with Colleen or whatever. That's up to them to do it to him. Um, unless they're on a date. Um, for the dates, we'll do a little competition. Whoever wins the competition, we'll take them out on a date, get them to interact and stuff. And basically, the winner is going to be the first girl that manages to get the green all the way up. Like, all the way up as far as it goes. So, what I think I'll do is I'm actually going to do test and cheats enabled. <laughs> and I'm going to actually... Oh my gosh, what have I done? Testing, cheats... Am I spelling this right? Enabled. True. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just move the... Is that working? Let me see. I don't know. Let me press play. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move... No, it's not. We'll just leave, we'll just leave them. Then... Um, oh, so we've got... We've got... Uh, what's your name? Dorothy. I don't... Oh, and he thinks Dorothy is hot. I hope the rules... Um, all made sense. Um, we have so much in common. I'd love to get you know to know you better. I don't care what anything else thinks. I think you're hot. 
Oh gosh. Oh gosh. All the girls are like attracted to one another. Oh my goodness. This, this could be fun. So, I think today we'll just spend it, you know, doing our thing. If anybody wants to come over and talk to us, we could do that. So, um, he's off to have a water balloon fight with uh, Karen, apparently. We just walked through a fence. Okay. <laughs> So she can, they can do that. I won't stop that. I won't. So let's see here. What are we doing? Wait for opponents. Is that? Oh. Okay. Okay. So we have, we have it going on a little bit. I just thought this would be like, you know. We might be able, we might kill the, do like death challenges and things like what happens in Hunger Games. Let me know if you think we should do that. Um, you know, and slowly kill them off one by one with the death challenges and whoever the last girl is standing would um, be the winner. Or will we just see who gets the green first? I don't know. Let me know because I haven't really decided that part yet. I just thought this would be a really fun thing to do. So, oh! Stupid llama, nobody cares. And the llama's, the llama's attracted. The llama's attracted. God, go away. I don't care. I'm actually going to go ahead and just get rid of the newspaper. And yeah, go ahead and finish watching up this. Let's see. He's a little bit hungry, so I don't know if we should maybe stop this. But let's just put it on to speed three and see. Um, let's see what happens. Oh dear, he skipped, he missed that one. Alright, I think we should stop there though. I think we should. And I think we should go serve some foods. I think so. Right, let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and have some food then. Oh look at them, they're like all still just chatting out on the chairs and stuff. Where is like, so we've got, where, so where is she, what is she, she's, is she in the, oh wait they're having a little, a little one together as well. <laughs> okay then, right, so he's going to go ahead and prepare hot dogs, that sounds good. So it's not really going to be much me controlling anybody, it's just going to be up to themselves what they do apart from the challenges and stuff. I do think that killing them off one by one would be a good way as well to get like the winner and then it's like definitely like the Hunger Games but um, but uh, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know. I'm interested to know. <laughs> Those hot dogs look great. They haven't changed a, a bit and you're like spreading mustard on them. Ew. Ew. And you're gonna make them in the microwave. Really? Oh! Respond to question. What, what are you gonna ask him? Ask about Zay. Okay. Karen's definitely like getting in there. She is. She's like the only one that's like taking initiative to um to get to know him. Which is fun. Okay, so Julianne, sweets, just skinny dip. You're skinny dipping in the hot tub, Julianne. We said you could <laughs> Okay then. Okay. Julianne just doing her own thing. Awesome. Awesome. Right, okay. Okay. So let's see. And they are attracted to one another as well, so. Yeah. That's fun. What are you doing? Just gonna get food. Cool. Okay. Um, there. Is she gonna do anything else or can we carry on? Oh, no. He's just away to check yourself out. What are you doing? You're off to watch TV. Well, I don't really want you to do that. I want you to possibly go use the toilet. Possibly, and then finish off cooking your hot dogs. 
Maybe, maybe. Oh, she's in this toilet. I hope none of them think this is their bedroom. <laughs> I hope so, I hope so. What are you doing? Nothing, you're just standing there. Just standing there. Oh, she's going to have a quick drink. Let's see what everyone's doing. She's she's still skinny dipping. She's going to have a drink. She's Oh, she's going to go to bed. So that's good. And she's chose the correct bed as well. She's going to watch TV. She's having a drink. So, yeah. Um, Why were you invisible there? <laughs> I didn't like that. I didn't uh -oh, like that. Okay. Uh -oh, what well, what you could do is you can go ahead and finish up cooking your hot dogs that would be awesome so let's go microwave them oh gosh what have you done to the kitchen it's minging already oh gosh we made that anyway prepared by abby horrifying quality but everybody's getting it anyway oh gosh i think I, i'd much rather have i'd much rather have shane's hot dogs to be honest <laughs> I would. I would, I would. Oh, and they're all going to the table to eat. How sweet. How sweet. There's just a couple. Oh, and look, they're sat next to each other. It's like it's like they want it to happen Dura. between them. <laughs> it is. Okay. Um, how about you go ahead and just go to bed? Oopsie. Didn't mean that. <laughs> Right, so she's chose that bed. So Karen has... No, we chose this bed. I don't know. I thought Karen was going to go to bed earlier. I don't know. They're all kind of choosing their beds though. And uh, Shane is going to go ahead and get his bed. So he can go ahead and sleep. Yeah. Okay, let's see who chose what beds. So... Everyone's choosing the bottom bunks. I would choose this bed. I would choose this one right here. But everyone's chose the bottom bunks apart from um, Abby and Dorothy by the looks of things. Dorothy's going to go for a top bunk. Did she really just like walk behind that? Oh my. Oh my. Where are you off to? You're going to sit in the rain. Lovely. Awesome. Alright. I guess, I guess you're going to get this bed then, Julianne. I guess so, I guess so. Um, hmm. Evan is now the father. I don't care about someone called Evan. I really don't. <laughs> and Karen thinks, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I've got a dead leg. I have a dead leg. Ah, my God. Oofed. Oofed. Okay, so they're all got themselves to bed. Rosetta is a bit hungry. She obviously missed out on food. But, uh, yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll end this here just because um, it was just mainly getting, like, telling you about the challenge and things. Um, not really... It's a game froze. And the game decides to freeze. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, we'll end this part here. <laughs> and so hopefully it sorts its life out. And I'll get it saved and things. So I hope you all, all enjoy this um, dating games LP. I think it'll be a really, really fun one. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye.